My gosh. It's actually happening. It's actually happening. Our bags are packed. It's 6.20 a.m. in the morning, my time, and we're standing in front of Tommy and Tammy getting ready to leave for our own deserted island getaway to just get away from everything and explore and start a life in a new land with these two adorable little... <laughs> I just want to pinch their cheeks. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, guys, I hope you are all ready for our flight because it is time. Animal Crossing New Horizons is finally here and we are going to leave behind so much that's going on and step into a new life on our own deserted island. But it's really early in the morning and we have a flight to catch so let's go ahead and get started because you know the, the plane's gonna leave and we're gonna go to a whole new island and we're going to settle in and make it home together and I cannot imagine a better time to be able to do this. So enough chit chat. We have things to do. Timmy, good morning. We're so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you too. Good morning. We're so excited to see you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter. Oh, they're so cute. For your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to. But first, let me introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. Oh, they're so precious. Oh my gosh. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so cute. Oh, I can't believe this is really happening. But let's fill out all the paperwork because we have an amazing new life to see. All right, and yes, we'll go ahead. My name is Siri, that's me. And then my birthday is actually literally a week from now. So we're gonna see something really soon. We'll have to see how we celebrate our birthday on a deserted island, but I can't imagine a better way to do it. This is actually extremely perfect. All right, yes, March 26th is my birthday. Very excited about that. <gasps> Look at this tiny, tiny little typing. Oh, I can't handle this. Oh, I can't handle that. They're so happy. Oh, this is going to be so wonderful. I can't wait, you guys. We need this. We need this to be able to relax and just start this big, long, new adventure together. So I hope you're settled in and you're ready for the long flight and ready to explore this new land together. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Siri. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Oh, they're so precious. All right, let's go ahead and pick what I'm going to look like. Um, this is pretty good. All right, that's good for skin tone. And then hairstyle. My hair is very long, so none of these quite work out. But I bet we can change our hair in the future. How we're going to change our hair in a deserted island, who knows. Um, let's see. Which one do I want to go with for now? I wish they had like an updo. Lately I wear my hair in buns and I want it up in a bun so it's out of the way for all of our adventures gathering things, but this'll do. All right, that'll be good. And then eyes, let's see. What kind of, oh, those are happy eyes. I want happy eyes because we're going to be seeing the world. Oh, those are cute. We're going to be seeing the world in a new light. There we go. And my eyes are indeed brown. Uh, whoops. And then I want to work a little bit more. A big smile. Big smile sounds wonderful. Oh, I like this smile too. <laughs> that looks like somebody who's really thoughtful. Oh gosh. Oh, do I want a big smile or do I want kind of a cutesy little hidden smile? That's kind of adorable as well. Oh my gosh. It's like I always have a secret. I always have a secret or I'm just really happy. Oh, I like Secret Siri. Okay, we'll go ahead with Secret Siri. And do we want just a little bit of a blush? Hmm. Hmm. Oh gosh, now I can't decide. I mean, this is going to be my, my look for a new island. You know what? I kind of like this. More natural tone. Clear cheeks or blushy cheeks. Let's go with clear cheeks. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, and look at my cute little shirt. Oh my goodness. We can change some things later, I'm pretty sure. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add the picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the northern and southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home? So tell me, Siri, where do you live now? Live now? <laughs> and we'll go with North America because I would love to experience spring on our new island, and it was the first day of spring yesterday. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us to focus on just the right island for you. <gasps> Are we going to pick our island now? So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Yes, it does! Very good! We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. Yay! Oh, they're gonna be so beautiful to see, I can't wait! So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose the island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home? Oh, I love this. <gasps> Wait, this is, these are our maps, you guys. This is gonna be our new home. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, oh my gosh, which one to pick? Okay, okay, let's see. I kind of love this one that has a little lake at the center. That would be perfect for setting up some sort of like special event area where every season we could have seasonal special events go down. I really like the idea of having a lake that we could do those kinds of things on. Um, this one looks amazing though for having like a house tucked away at that waterfall right at the very back. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? I really love this one because it has like a bunch of secluded little areas. I could totally see me putting a house down right in the little curve of the mountain range there. It's got plenty of room to be able to put shops and things to the left, in, like the bottom left. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, we're picking our island. And you only get one island per switch, not one island per profile, one island per switch. So, oh man. I mean, this is a huge decision. I, I think I want to go with this one because I just love the idea that we could have all of our special seasonal events on that, that little island. I know that there's an island between the river here as well, but that looks a little bit more broken up. So let's go with this one. We're going to do it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be our island. This is going to be our island. <gasps> Wonderful choice, choice. And I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring only one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Oh my goodness! Okay, I don't think I would need a sleeping bag because I would just adjust to kind of sleeping on the grass. I don't think I would need a lamp because it would be useful, but I would try to set up my day to wake and, and sleep with the sun. I would hope I would have some food and something to kill time. I feel like it would be nice to have something that wasn't purely survival related to be able to entertain myself. Like I would love to have a journal or if I had like some sort of way to power it solar wise, I would love to have a little laptop so I could write stories. So something to kill time. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical uh, question. Hypothetical. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's six in the morning. I I'm going to be a little silly. We're getting ready for this flight. Let's just relax. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. <gasps> your attention, please. This is a service announcement. Oh my gosh, they looked up. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. <gasps> Who else is going to go with us? We're going to see the villagers we get to start the island with. Ah, perfect timing. Come on. Let's get all, let's all board the plane together. Together. You guys, we're doing it. I love our new island. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Oh, this is so cute. I wonder what they're feeding us. 
on this flight. Oh, deep breaths, guys. Oh, wow. I mean, let's just leave everything else behind us and focus on being happy here. And whatever stories unravel on our brand new island. This is gonna be so awesome! Look at how cute everything is! I really can't wait to see what kind of life we make here. Oh! Look at how- <gasps> The museum! I cannot wait to build the museum. That's gonna be fantastic. Oh, I can already feel the stress and worries just dropping off my shoulders. Okay, okay, oh my gosh, is this it? Are we gonna see who we're starting the island with? Oh, there's so many to pick from. Am I gonna recognize the villagers coming with us? Building a new home on the deserted island with me? I have no idea who it's gonna be. <gasps> That's our home, oh my goodness. Did I see apples? I think I saw some apples. Oh my gosh, we have apples. <laughs> I was hoping for oranges, but I will take apples. Those are totally edible. It's good to know we have food. <gasps> We're here. Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader, <laughs> our fearless leader. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now, if you'd like to follow us. Oh, look! Look, look, look! Tommy has a cute little sign! And this is our island home. Okay. Okay, wow! And these are the villagers that are starting with us! Oh man, I want to introduce myself. I think I recognize them, but I just want to be sure. Ursula? I don't recognize her! We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Oh my gosh, is she new? And I think I recognize you, friend. Pierce, yes! Follow the guides. Let's hustle. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at everything. Look at our island. Look at all the plants. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I just want to spend some time frolicking over here. Like, look at all of this. But all right, let's... There he is. The fearless leader himself. Oh, let's. Oh, there's a butterfly behind him. I can't wait to catch it. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Ursula here? And how about Pierce? And there's Siri, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. <gasps> Look at the swallowtail butterfly that's just coming to visit. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nooking staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It is the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? That's so funny. I guess he really wants to like build up this island. We're gonna make it a research facility, Nook. A research facility, I say. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. <gasps> this is so cool! Tommy or Timmy would be happy to provide you with a tent, hmm? Oh, this is so adorable. Here you go, Siri. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, pre like, we'll put it down. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time to find a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. 
Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. I, am I really here? I mean, I'm a little dazed because, like, it's been so early in the morning. But I think I'm really here. Look. Look. Oh my gosh, look. There's the little eye. Oh, there's a fishy. I see a fish in the water. Oh, this is going to be so amazing. I'm running on the sands on the dawn of a new day on my very own new island. Let's say hello to Pierce. I really, I don't know much about Pierce and Ursula, so I want to learn more about their personalities. Yo, I'm Pierce. You're Siri, right? Nice to meet you, Hawkeye. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so that I can train my body and soul, Hawkeye. That's so cool. All right, so let's check out the little lake that we have. I don't think I can actually, yeah, I can't, I, I can't pick anything up just yet. So we definitely want to, here's the lake. I think this is the lake. I guess calling it a lake is kind of interesting. The island within the island. <gasps> it is an island within an island. Oh, that's awesome. So, oh no, how do I get to the other side of it this early? <gasps> I can't get to the other side where I want to set up my tent. I want to be able to set up my tent to the back corner. And I just realized I can't actually get there because I can't get across the river. Oh no! I've been thwarted! I really wanted to set it up, like, right over kind of where that butterfly in the, the distant right is flying. Huh. I hope I can move my house in the future. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. That's okay. But if we just keep it as a tent, then maybe we can move the tent when time comes. Oh, and there's a waterfall. Oh, I see the fish at the top of the waterfall! Alright, where else should we possibly think about setting our tent up? Look at all of this nature. Wow, and here's the other side of the beach. This is actually a nice side. Oh, this is cute! I mean, it's not where I would want to leave my tent forever, but this might be kind of a nice, peaceful way to wake up and stare out at the beautiful dawn. But at the same time, I'm more of a mountain kind of person. Oh, hey, I think that's Ursula. Hi, Ursula! You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Siri, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Ursula. I gotta tell ya, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Groomp. Groomp. That's her catchphrase. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Ursula, I think I hear... I think I hear a bug. Oh, but I don't see the bug. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right, I think I want to settle down kind of close to the waterfall. And then we'll just hope that one day in the future, Tom Nook will let me move our house. So I think somewhere over here. No, I want to put it a little... I want to put it a little bit over here. Let's see, tent. Let's try building it here. That's good, but I think we need to bring it back a little bit now. Alright, so we can wake up and just have the waterfall in the background. Yes! That looks perfect! What would it look like if we did that? Let's imagine it. Oh! I mean, it would be a good spot, but apparently it would get rid of the apple tree, which is, <laughs> which is not quite what I wanted. Let's try scooching it over a little bit, if that's going to be the case. What about this? What would it look like if we did that? Oh, I saw another butterfly! Hmm. Okay, I think this is a good spot. It's a little off center to the waterfall, but we'll take what we can get. Yay! We set up our tent! Okay, we'll go talk to Tom Nook again. <gasps> Look, I see beautiful hy hyacinths! And there's definitely a fossil right there. Ah, oh, this is so exciting! 
And we're next to a beautiful waterfall. I want to replant a tree back here to replace the apple tree that we had to take out. Can I go in here yet? Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. All right, let's go talk to Tom Nook. I can't wait to get my hair looking a little bit more like me. And maybe I should have had the big smile, but I like having kind of the zen thoughtful smile. Ah, Siri. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, we'll go help the others set up their tents. Uh, where would I want to put Pierce? Let me think about that. I kind of think I would want Pierce... Maybe down... Like, over here, I think would be good. Like, sort of right by the beach. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so I've got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Siri? Uh, I'll find you a spot. What? You'll help me find a sweet spot to put up this tent? Seriously? Wow, we just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on, heavy lifting on our friendship, Siri. Okay then, can't wait to see the epic spot you pick for me. Alright, I got you, Pierce. My tent is, your is in your hands, Hawkeye. You've got this. If you need me, I'll be over at the plaza visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. Alright, so let's set him up right down here, I think. How's that going to look? Let's go ahead and imagine it. I actually think that's perfect! And look at how cool his tent is! It's different from ours. There! And then he can jump out and he can just start running along the beach right away. And let's go help Ursula and we'll check out what's going on down here. I feel like Ursula might do well. I mean, right, right there is probably a good spot. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. That's really funny. I mean, come on, if you're on a deserted island, why not just throw a stick to pick where you're going to stay? And look at the flowers around her, that's so cute. Ursula, you're very cute. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only... Uh, there. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Uh, that's, that's looks good to me. For real, Guru? Well, if you're sure. Actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, what would it look like? <gasps> it took out all of the trees. Um, but we can replant them. Looks great. Awesome! From now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my sweet new home! I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, Groom! Hold up! Does this mean you helped Pierce with his tent too? Whoa! You're seriously an awesome person. I gotta be honest. When we first got here, I was kinda worried there were way too few of us. But if we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy. Oh, Ursula, thank you! Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us, so let's get back to the plaza, Groom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't wait to plant trees and organize everything. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. No pun intended, right? Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here, in the plaza, with a roaring campfire. We just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Ursula, Tommy, and Pierce can help set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Siri and I will work on gathering firewood, and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Siri, would you come with me for a minute? The butterfly was gonna land in my hair, you guys! Ah, the butterfly's right there! <gasps> the broom! Pierce just pulled out the broom! <laughs> Gathering can be a tough workout. Just pace yourself and get what you need. You got this, Hawkeye. Pierce, oh my gosh, that's so cute! Oh, look at Tommy! He 
he's just walking around with a little flag. Leave him to set up to us. We'll be counting on you to get the supplies. Oh, this is so cute. And Ursula's digging around in the firewood. We've got a big job right out of the gate. Time to knuckle up and get it done, group. Oh my goodness. Timmy. Please check with our boss, Tom Nook, about what supplies we'll need. Let's do our island warming party, you guys! Oh, the butterflies even want to join in! Ah, uh, Siri, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real apples. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Alright, oh, we found one! I can pick things up now, you guys! Yes! Oh, I think I picked up... What was that? A clump of weeds. Oh, I can pluck these up and maybe decorate them around my house if I want to. <gasps> There's little rocks. Let's grab some of those. Oh, this is so cute. We're gonna have an island-wide party, you guys! Okay, let's gather up these apples. Because I have a feeling we might need them pretty soon. And here's my little house. I can't wait to move it so that it can be in a different spot. I'll have to keep my tent nice and simple until we can get across the river and see what's hiding over there. Let's grab some more apples. Wow, the wind is really picking up. You can see it rustling all of the leaves. And actually, because we picked this kind of island, until we can get across the river, we're really sort of cut off from the majority of the island. It's sort of amazing. I didn't really think that through. Oh, another butterfly! Hello, little one! Alright, let's gather a few more sticks. I'll take extra, just in case we want to do something special with the campfire. Is that enough sticks? Let's see, that's 15 sticks. That should be good enough. Are there any more apples we could gather? Oh good, there are! I was a little worried we took out too many of the apple trees, but it looks like Ursula set herself up right next to a bunch of them. There we go. Pardon me, pardon me. Oh, good, good, Siri. It seems like you've managed to collect the, up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands for now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho. <laughs> you found the right person for the job there, I will say that, Nook. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine apples. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough apples for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you, once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. You guys! <laughs> Tom Nook's holding an apple. <laughs> Pierce is sweeping in the background with a tiny broom. And we're getting ready to have an island warming party with Tommy and Timmy. Now that everything is ready, yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. All right, here we go. Our first night on the new island. Oh, I already feel so close to everybody. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to our new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acume. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh-ho! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and per perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't really call this a deserted island anymore, hmm. But what should we call it? Oh my goodness. I've been thinking about this name for weeks. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of the island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? 
So, take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present you your ideas. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so you had so many amazing suggestions, and I really had to give it some thought, but then a name popped into my head, and I fell in love with it. May I introduce all of you guys to Wild Berry Island, where we will hopefully be gathering up many of the creatures, filling up a beautiful museum, setting up special event areas on the island within the island, and inviting all sorts of naturalistic and scholarly and camping villagers to come and visit. I'm really looking forward to turning this into kind of like a, a beautiful nature setting, where everywhere we go on our island, we can just be reminded of how wonderful the world is. Let's do this. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Wildberry, Buffberg, Nook Kits, Rackland, Rocks a Lot. Rocks a Lot, I love it. Nookland, oh my gosh, Nook Kits. That's so cute, Nook Kits. What splendid variety? Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Siri seems to have the most enthusiasm and naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Siri suggested... Wildberry. Yay, everybody likes it! Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Wildberry. Sounds great! Okay, it fucks. Absolutely. Splendid! Then from now on, this island will be known as Wildberry. Oh. Well, Siri, since you've proven yourself by naming Wildberry, I'd like to rely on you for the other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Wildberry. Oh, this is just the beginning of a long journey together, guys. Siri, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesman for your neighbors? Um, howdy, a word or two. You can count on me. Uh, you know what? You can count on me. Hmm, so. We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! Look at the tiny little- oh my gosh! Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from apples. Oh my gosh, it's fresh apple juice. That's so cute. Our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado, a toast to Wildberry and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Ah! That's so adorable. I'm glad everybody enjoyed the apple juice. Oh my gosh, and it's a cute little party. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here, Hawkeye. Oh, that's so awesome. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, Garoom. Wow. We're here to act as your support staff, but we've never lived on an uninhabited island before either. I'm not sure how helpful we'll be in this unfamiliar place, but we'll rely on each other as fellow residents. Oh, Tommy! Wildberry. Wildberry. What a great name! Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Oh, thank you, Timmy. Ah, Siri. Having a good time, yes? I have to say I am, Tom Nook. I didn't really imagine sitting down. Drinking fresh squeezed apple juice on a deserted island with you at a time like this, but it turns out it's exactly what I needed I know this is all a bit much so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent by all means go ahead We'll keep the fire burning uh, Yeah, maybe I'll go do that Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this What do we get what do we get? It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting for you in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use things. Okay. When you're ready, you can crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Siri. You guys! Oh, wow. 
Okay, let's just take a quick peek. I'm gonna gather a few of these little things that I see. I'm gonna have a quick peek. Oh, did you see that? Something spurted up some water. I think there's oh, something spurted up water there to you. Oh, I can't wait to see if there's anything we can dig up over there. That's gonna be so fun. Hello? What are you? Wow. And the stars are out. And we're walking the beach on a deserted island. On our very first night at our new home. Yeah, this is pretty wonderful. I can't wait to be able to take off my shoes and just relax. But for now, let's go ahead and lie down. It's been a big day and I would love to be able to help everybody out some more. Explore the island, start seeing what things are hiding on it later. And I want to see the inside of my tent. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, cute! There's little packages! Can I see what's inside of them? <gasps> It's a little, it's a little portable radio. Okay, that's precious. That's absolutely precious. And then over here? Oh, a lamp! Good! All right, what else do we have? I do have some, a sand dollar and a cowrie. I can go ahead and place my cot. Let's see. I kind of want to put it, like, at the back. Camping cot, place item. Perfect, perfect. And then, what about my sand dollar? Can I put that down? And then, my cowrie? What happens if I just... Oh, unfortunately, they don't look like a sand dollar or a cowrie on the ground just yet, but that's okay. Ah, oh, what a big day. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. I would love to see what we can do tomorrow. And we'll just leave the radio... Wait, what? That's an interesting way to go to sleep. KK? <laughs> I'm dreaming about KK? So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there. Explore new frontiers. I'm dreaming about KK. I wonder if they used him in some sort of like PR to get ready for everybody to go on the deserted island package because this is hilarious. That's all the way right, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Oh my gosh. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being in your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. KK, just what are you to come into my dreams? Oh, but listen up. That rap I gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Pretty groovy to me too, KK. Cool, when you wake up, you'll find you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. Oh my gosh, I dreamed of KK telling me to make friends and to share this adventure with all of you. Maybe it's because I left the radio on. Oh, it's Tom! Sari! Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. Oh my goodness! And the little radio is just like... Ah, cheerful little morning music! Alright, let's see what Tom needs. I think we're just about good to go. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I, I slept that long? Oh, yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to the life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Oh, is that a phone? 
It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. That's so cool! Ah, I want to make sure it's working, right? So could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, it's green! Yes! I'm so happy that it's a cute little green phone! Ah, it's adorable! Look at this! Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Siri, have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, I have one of my own. Very good. Then it should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see what we owe him. What's the damage? So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course, your Nook phone. Hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. <gasps> and here I thought we weren't in debt to him first thing out of the gate. But sure enough, with zero bells in our pocket. Okay, I get it. I get it, Tom. Yes, yes. Well then. Wait, you don't have any bells? I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. Oh my gosh, I think Ursula is like walking right past us just as we're admitting we're totally broke. I wonder if she feels bad for us and like wants to just pick some apples to share. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Wildberry. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees, and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 4,980... 4, uh, 49,800 bells. Oh, man, when you have, like, number legislation, it's really hard to say those things. To pay your move-in fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. Hey, Ursula. Oh, you're going to catch butterflies, too. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Wildberry and a client of Nook, Inc. <gasps> you guys! Well, I guess I have my first goal. My new island life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! <gasps> Alright! From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Okay, I'll remember that. Noted, noted. Oh. My. Gosh. We've done it! I can do whatever I want now! I want to get across the island! I want to climb things! I want to dig up things! I want to catch things! I want to talk to Ursula because I think she's worried I don't have the money to like take care of myself. <gasps> Tommy! Oh Siri, it's great to see you! That campfire was a lot of fun! We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Oh, my goodness, you guys. It's real. It's happening. We're going to do this. Oh, but all right. Now that we have gotten all set up, we have a place to be. We have a couple of villagers to start things off with. I know nothing about Ursula, and I only remember a tiny bit about Pierce. So it's going to be really fun to learn more about them. I, I need to figure out how to build tools. This is going to be amazing. But I think it's a good time to take just a quick break to kind of have a few deep breaths and to prepare our... Oh, butterfly! That one's different than the yellow swallowtail butterfly that we saw earlier. Ah! Okay, we definitely have to catch them. 
but it's a good time to catch our breath and relax before continuing the adventure here. So I'm gonna catch my breath, make a little bit of tea, and then go see what Tom Nook needs and what our new Nook phone has for us and be back with more adventures shortly. So expect some double daily episodes for a little bit. I mean, we have a whole island to explore. We have things to collect. We have a life to build up and to live in. in <gasps> I wish I could catch that balloon so bad. We have a life to build up and to live here. And I, I just can't wait to share the journey with you guys. So yeah, expect double daily episodes like today, perhaps even more. Whenever, especially with how chaotic life can be at times, we feel like we just need to step away from it all and come to this deserted island, then we'll be here. So, Wildberry, huh? Our new home. Let me know what you guys think about it. And then we'll start exploring, we'll start catching bugs, we'll start fishing, we'll start building up our nook miles and figuring out how we can change into cute and adorable little outfits next time. So, I'll take a breather and I'll see you guys shortly. Until then, stay curious. <laughs>